what's up guys thanks so much for stopping by the channel today my name is timothy and on this channel i focus on tech tools and tutorials to help you create the best content for your youtube channels and productions so if you're new here consider subscribing and sticking around Today I wanted to give you just a really quick update because it is the week of NAB 2017. There's a huge trade show happening in Las Vegas right now and I wanted to bring you a special update because DJI has announced its DJI goggles. Now I watched the presentation last night it was really, really terrible presentation. Um, so I didn't watch the whole thing, but I thought I was actually going to uh, be able to pre-order these last night. Wasn't able to, woke up this morning and they were on the website. Um, so just so you know, the new announcements from DJI so far have been a Ronin 2, which is a camera stabilization system. This one seems like it's geared more towards professional uses because it uh, has a capacity, load capacity of up to 40 pounds, which is pretty massive. So um, that's definitely like geared towards more pro camera gear. Um, the other thing they announced are, um, is a new controller for the DJI Inspire. Um, I think it might work with the Phantom as well, but mostly it's geared towards the, it doesn't work for the Phantom, sorry. It's mostly geared towards the Inspire and the Matrix series. And it's a controller that lets you do a lot of the things that you have to do in an app right there on the controller. Um, and then, also, Crystal Sky HD um, screens. Uh, I went to the store this morning on their website. I've got my computer set up right here, and I tried to check them out, but uh, they say they're out of stock. So I, did, I don't know if I missed, I didn't see like where they might have actually released those, but at the same time, I went to go try to order one, and they don't say coming soon anymore. Now they just say out of stock. So I don't know if I missed the boat on that one, but uh, hopefully not. Um, but the thing that I wanted to bring you guys today is the news about the DJI goggles. And this is something that we've been looking forward to for a long time, to be able to use you know, our Mavic Pros with these first-person view goggles. So basically, you just stick them right on uh, your head. These are really massive. If you're used to seeing, you know, like, uh, the PlayStation VR or Oculus Rift or something. These look to be even larger than that. Um, <clears throat> but at any rate, they are they are pretty big. Um, I don't know exactly. I haven't been able to find anywhere where it says that it supports people who wear glasses. Well, I really hope it does because I wear glasses. Um, but looking at the pictures and stuff, there seem to be slots right on the side of where you would go over your eyes. And so there's these little square slots right here. And so I figure that's probably for folks with glasses. So um, I did go ahead and pre-order it. So I'm going to have it uh, in my hands very soon. Hopefully it's supposed to be a couple weeks before they ship it, but I'll have it. Uh, and when I do, I'll start making videos for you guys about it so you can see uh, firsthand how it works. But I just wanted to give you a couple quick notes about it. Um, I'm going to roll some B-roll here of the actual release video but basically you're going to be able to put on these goggles and see exactly what the drone sees but it has some really neat things if you're following along with VR technology uh, you know the screens can sometimes be good and sometimes they can be really bad um, but these are actually a very high resolution screen and so um, just a little bit of thing from their website here it says typical 2k screens inside the goggles are split into two 1280 by 1440 sections one for each eye when viewing a 16 by 9 image some sections are further cut off leaving only a quarter of the available pixels. DJI goggles have two 19 by 1920 by 1080 screens, providing more than twice the amount of pixels of a typical 2K single screen. So basically, that means super high resolution. Um, each one of these screens for your, each eye is, is super, super HD. So that's great. Um, also, you get a full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution per eye, which I just said, um, and the use of a large aperture, a, sphere, um, a spheric lens, gives an 85 degree field of view per eye. So that's pretty sweet. So you get a nice, nice view. Um, the other thing that's like really, really cool about this is they have announced head tracking. If you saw the new update for um, the fixed wing mode, you'll know that the Mavic and Phantom series drones can now fly in a straight line um, on their own, sort of in cruise control, and you can fly it like a plane. Well, they're using this now in with, um, with head tracking. So uh, your head movements control both the aircraft yaw and camera tilt in head tracking flight mode, just like your controller sticks would. So you turn your head left or you turn your head right uh, and the drone 
the Mavic or the Phantom will move left to right. So straighten your head up and it stops turning. So that is pretty cool. And then you also have head tracking gimbal mode. And then that means only the gimbal will move without affecting your yaw. So basically if you're using the Mavic, you'll be able to look up and down um, while you're still controlling the drone. So that could be potentially really, really amazing for some cinematic footage. If you're using the Phantom 4, you could literally be flying and then just move your head around. And as you move, the camera's gonna look in those directions as well. So you could potentially set up some really cinematic looking shots that you wouldn't normally be able to do um, just based on that small wheel movement that we get. You can actually you know, use some pretty neat things if you put it all together so anyway I'm looking forward to it the side of it also has a touchpad and so you'll be able to use some certain certain functions on it with a touchpad to control different things it has function buttons which are basically more extensions if you're using the Mavic as the C1 C2 buttons on the back of the the controller so you have a few more of those on your goggles um, and you can hook this up to um, HDMI outs so if you're looking at third-party devices or um, you know connecting it to all kinds of different things there's an HDMI input on the device and so you'll be able to uh, really just hook this into into whatever you want um, so you can get it from the Phantom 4 or um, Inspire drones or plug in a video device to watch films or play games um, so you can use this beyond just uh, flying your Mavic which is really cool. I'm really, really excited to see like what are the other uses of it. It also has micro SD cards, so you can plug in your micro SD from your Mavic or, or whatever drone you're flying and be able to view the footage that you've recorded already, um, but also be able to back up that footage. And you can plug in headphones into the headphone jack or use built in onboard speakers to listen to audio and videos being played through the HDMI cable. So, like I said, if you plug in the HDMI cable from another device that you're using, you'll be able to hear the audio over that HDMI. So, that's pretty cool. So, just a couple other quick facts. The video downlink resolution is gonna be 1080p at 30 frames per second, or 720p at 60 or 30 frames per second. So, that's pretty cool. And the latency is actually pretty small. You're only gonna get about 110 milliseconds when you're using the Mavic, or around 150 milliseconds, it looks like, if you're using the Phantom, just because of the, uh, the size and the connection and all that. So, um, as far as the battery goes, it does have a 9,440 milliamp battery that they're saying will last for six hours so that's a good amount of time certainly enough time if you are you know flying your drones all afternoon um, that's gonna that's gonna cover you uh, if you're watching a movie that's gonna be a couple movies um, and that's a pretty long game session if you're gaming maybe it'll be able to game we'll see I'll definitely be trying that out um, but yeah that, that pretty much that pretty much covers everything um, I'm really excited about it. You know, there's a lot of different ways you can use this. Obviously, you can use it yourself to, you know, fly your drones, but you can also, you know, hand it off to somebody else. Like, while you're maintaining control of your drone uh, and flying it normally with your app and everything, you could give these goggles to someone else and let them look first-person view as you are controlling and flying. So pretty pretty cool options. I think it's going to be really neat. Um, certainly we've all been waiting for this for a while now and DJI has finally announced. So they are available um, to buy from DJI.com. I'm going to leave links in the description below. They are $449, um, which in comparison to other FD, um, FPV goggles, I think that's actually a very good price. Um, but you need to jump on them because they're only in a limited amount of supply for pre-sale. So you're going to pre-order them, and then it says estimating shipping date May 20th. Now, I've talked with a few DJI reps in chats today, and they said that if you get these orders in soon, they're actually uh, going to be shipping before May 20th. Now, I'm not sure about that, but... Some people, some I did a chat a couple times, and some representatives even told me that they were shipping around May 8th. So that's just in a couple weeks. Um, like I said, that's uh, that's not official. That's just from some reps that I was talking to. Um, those guys were correct when I was talking to them about the Mavic Pro shipping times earlier um, a few months ago. And so, um, yeah, I think if you go ahead and order them now, you should be getting them very very soon so anyway links in the description below if you want to check them out um question of the day leave me a comment down below 
are you going to pick up these goggles? Or is that something that you're really interested in doing? Um, I think it's going to add a really cool element to flying and introduce um, this whole new whole new realm of, of using your drone. So anyway, hope it's been helpful today, guys. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you in the next video.